Welcome to new Selfish Airs app podcast and this time around it's all about Android support on Selfish OS and some of you might have heard there's a third player around when it comes to big app stores besides Google and Amazon there's now also Huawei in the game and they have their own app gallery and it makes it very interesting especially also with the Amazon App Store where you can find apps especially that are not compatible with or not necessary to have Google Play services and as you all know Selfish OS Android support does not have Play services there's a new contender called Huawei App Gallery and you can download this from websites like APK Mirror for example you can download the APK and just install this and uh, this will then allow you to open up the Huawei App Gallery with all the different Android tools that you might want to have. I'm just installing Nitro Nation for example here right now. I've downloaded it via the Huawei App Gallery that I installed. And the cool thing is it's another sort of income in terms of applications. So if you don't find an application on the Amazon App Store and you don't want to access Google via the Aurora store or you want to simply search for app alternatives that will work on your Selfish S device without Google Play services or you just want to have like an app gallery where you have all the apps that are compatible mostly with Selfish S because they don't require Google Play services then this is a great alternative. You can see I've installed two uh, games and uh, here this is the app gallery as you can see if you open it up it looks like this has uh, some uh, summer sales as well father day snapchat and other applications in here you have some apps in here that you can download that will work pretty fine on services as well like snapchat telegram and so on uh, target show app even a local one so you have also local apps as well depending on your location and uh, of course if you have the app gallery installed you have the option to also log in to a Huawei account so if you have a Huawei device for example as Android device you have the option of course uh, to also download or re-download all the stuff or see your comments and, and all the stuff as well um, yeah and even purchase stuff so if you want to really buy applications or something like this you are able to buy and you are able to download them on your Savage S device as well if they run of course and yeah you have some top applications you can download applications and you saw that I installed some games because I want to show because some people were asking is gaming possible with the Android layer of Savage S and uh, yeah uh, first of all games there are lots of games on the Huawei app gallery this is why I installed Huawei app gallery basically uh, because I wanted to answer all those people who said ah, I want a game I want a game and I wanted, wanted to have a yeah, secure uh, source for games and as you can see here there is uh, early access games pre-order games even uh, fun games there are lots of games if I go to category and then click on games there are lots of interesting games here in different categories that you can go through and there's a list of action games for example and uh, yeah so lots and lots of interesting games this is why uh, tip number one install Huawei app gallery if you want to have another income in terms of uh, Android apps and especially Android apps that run under Selfish S mostly because uh, they don't rely on Google Play services so number two is I want to answer the question is it possible to game with the Android layer on Selfish OS? So let's close this and let's close all the other apps so I can open up the game that I installed. Two games I installed Tower Defense is a pretty simple game but I want to start with the heavy game Nitro Nation which is a 3D game and it tells me information about permissions okay I want to allow it and the cool thing is some of the games that you find usually on the Play Store, uh, Google Play Store, they require some Google Play stuff installed or they need something to download via Google Play. But with the Huawei App Gallery you install also the Huawei Mobile Services. And let me make this a bit quiet. 
and with the Huawei mobile uh, services you also get the the support for um, yeah downloading or using applications that so basically Huawei mobile services is the replacement for Google mobile services and Google does not allow you to install this on Savage S usually but you can install Huawei mobile services on Savage S which runs pretty nice as you can see here so this is a game uh, that is utilizing this and you can see I'm now going through the tutorial here and you can see this runs pretty smooth on my Selfish S device with the Android layer and uh, Elgin Dalvik and on the Sony Xperia uh, 10 Plus device without any issues as you can see the graphics looks also not too bad I can go to new player here and yeah accept this and I can just simply play games 3D games and the cool thing is of course Selfish S is multitasking I can just go out of here and say okay I want to start another game let's start the tower defense game and let's take a look at this game oh this game is upside down for some reason oh well, let's play it like this if you want to play like this then I play like this and I can hit start and I can uh see advertisements interesting oh advertisements i was like confused for a second because advertisements on selfish s yeah you have to install android apps to have advertisements on selfish s usually you don't have advertisements on selfish s do you have great 3d games like the nitro thing on selfish s uh, sadly not but you have some interesting games as well if you wanted to check those games out i made a list of games or some i showed you some games in my Huawei, um, in my Huawei, in my Selfish OS um, app things. Now it is showing up like this. Uh, the game is having issues with the rotation sensor apparently. Uh, okay, it's a very simple game. Continue and advertisements again. Yeah. Maybe I downloaded the wrong. Maybe I downloaded the wrong uh, game because <laughs> there's advertisements everywhere. Yeah, play. I want to play. Okay, so like level one. And uh, yeah, now I can just. Huh. Okay, I don't get the game. Ah, I have to click on the tower and then I can click on the position, where to position <laughs> the tower. It's a very simple game as you can see here, but even such simple ga simple games are running fine under Selfish OS as you can see here. And uh, let's put some more of those towers here especially in the beginning we can destroy those your so you can see a very easy game runs also without any issues on safe jazz and I can just simply uh, also go out of the game and then just say okay I jump into the next game and there we go uh, it was still loading as you can see multitasking power of Savage Jazz so even though this uh, 10 plus device only has 4 gigabytes of RAM even in the Android version it tries to keep all the games inside of uh, RAM and uh, because of the multitasking support even with Android applications I see a very good multitasking uh, especially when it comes to games so if you like playing games on Selfish S. There's no issue with this. You can see I'm playing this game here. Let's go. Stage one. Let's go. I show you one more time what I'm doing here. 
and let's go one two and as you can see I think I'm pretty good I will win this so working without any issues so someone in us is asking next time if uh, games Android games work fine on Savage OS you can show them yes they are working fine uh, without any issues and if you want a games you can try them to download we have another source to download them from the Huawei App Store you can see here have different app stores here that I'm using the Aurora stores for accessing um, Google Play Store APK Miro and Afdroid sadly and Afdroid there are not so many games otherwise I would recommend this and uh, yeah APK Miro you can get basically every game that you want to have but AppGuard is also I think a good start uh, that's everything for this video like subscribe and until next time, bye.